was looking through the videos a while back and it occurred to me I hadn't talked about a particular beer and it's high time I did. It's Gower Gold. I've had a fair few of these over the years, particularly this time of year. Because times was when I'd head to the Gower um, quite a lot. I don't get to do it so much now. But nonetheless, Gower Gold is brewed in Crofty. Down, down on the Gower, down in southwest Wales. And Gower Gold is, as you can see, gold. I haven't had it in a while, but what I do know is that you get citrus, a little bit of biscuity malt as well at the beginning, but tends towards a really nice honeyed kind of bitterness. Anyway, let's see what I'd be missing. Yeah, just like that. It smells nice and fresh. And just a little hint of that honey. And some citrus. It is a good looking beer. It's clear. And it's been in the fridge, so it's showing that lovely sheen on the outside of the glass. You could have. Still Gow Gold. It's um, coming in quite light on percentage, I think to four point what is it? Yeah, four point five. Contains barley and wheat. And there is a nice label on it. And that label's been well it started off a little bit less gold than that. It's pretty much been the same for the last seven eight years from what I can uh, well at least that probably longer I think closer to ten years maybe anyway it is the ideal beer to drink on a summer's day and Galwa uh, beers are becoming more prominent around different supermarkets you can sometimes pick up gold one or two of them Gower Power pops up, which is another nice one of their beers. Uh, but for me, it's Gower Gold. It still is. It's been a staple in my summer, particularly on a Friday evening's drinking. But tonight is not a Gower evening. It is the middle of July, and it might as well be February. It's been raining solid all day, and it's been cold. But that, that takes me back to campfires in sand dunes very late at night. And it should definitely take you there as well. Try and guess them. Cheers.